Nano Text Editor for Android Tamox. Nano is a simple terminal text editor perfect for editing files in Tamox. Unlike V, it doesn't require memorizing complex commands, switching between modes and all that. Just open, edit and save. This is useful for editing scripts, um, configuring Tamox settings, taking quick notes or on the go code and all that. So the first thing we have to ensure is to install is to make sure Tamox is installed on the device. So I have mine installed here already, but just in case you don't have yours, go to the Play Store, then you look for the app Tamox. Then this first one over here, I have mine installed already, so just install it, but I will just open mine from here. You can see my Tamox um, interface is open. So I would advise that if you are doing this for the first time, you update your package references and um, upgrade your versions as well. How can you do that? You can do PKG, PKG updates. Then you pass the Y flag. Then you combine it with a command. I'm trying to look for okay then pkg upgrade okay you also pass the y flag just in case then when you are done doing this you are good to go it shows that your linux um your tamox is up to date now um the first thing i want to check now is to see if nano is installed so which nano w h i c h nano you can see it is giving me the path where nano is installed this shows that nano is available on my uh, linux environment on my tamox but if it is not available on yours you can do pkg install nano you can also pass the y flag okay so if you run this command it will install nano for you then after running this command to confirm that nano is installed you can run nano then you say version you can see my nano is up to date version 8.4 so i can just uh, move on now we go ahead to basic nano usage okay i'll show you how to create a file how to um, edit existing files how to save it and all that so I'll create a new folder, mkdir, I'll call it notes, okay, just for this tutorial, cd notes, okay, so in notes, ls, at the moment I don't have any, um, any text files here, I don't have any files at all in this particular directory, I would advise that you check the essential Linux command uh, tutorial where I did a lot of explaining about um, cd, mkdir, the cat command, the ls command and all that, so you can just check it out essential linux commands for android uh, tamox users so moving on since uh, nano is installed and i want to create a new file two options i have the first one is to type nano directly then it will give me this interface where i can type anything i want to type so you don't have to be switching between command modes and insert modes and all that just type welcome to this nano tutorial so don't forget to like the video and sub let me subscribe to the channel this is the last line okay so i have this um content that i've added to this particular file you will see um, at the top of the screen, you can see GNU Nano 8.4. Then in the middle, you are seeing new buffer. This particular content that we typed, it is saved, but not on this particular, um, on the particular directory where we are, where the notes directory that we created. So for me to be able to save this file now, if you look at the base of the screen, just above the escape uh, button, you will see caret G, caret X, um caret o caret f and all that so just note each of these um commands over here then for me to be able to save this particular file i can just do the caret it stands for control 
okay so i'll just press control then oh you can see it is asking me where where to where to file so i'll just type in the name of the file i can say file dot txt okay then enter and you can see it is no longer new buffer it is now file.txt so i can just exit the text editor now how can i do that just control x and i'm out okay if i run ls once more you can see file.txt use cat to confirm the contents of file.txt you can see exactly what I typed into the nano uh, on the nano interface what I saved in the file. So if you want to create a new file, initially I just typed nano, then I typed whatsoever I wanted to type, then I saved it. Another thing you can do is to type nano, then the name of the new file that you want to uh, write. For example, new file dot txt. Okay. So what this does is that it starts the nano interface with the new file.txt on top so anything you are writing it presumes you have the intention to save it in new file.txt so i can say this is the second file the new file text whatsoever <laughs> then i can just write this is the second to the last line and this is the last line okay so now that i'm done writing i'll just control o once more new file.txt then i'll save it now control x for exit so control x you can see for exit so that is that is it basically now ls you see that i have two files file.txt and new file.txt how can i modify an existing file i have two files over here let me do nano file.txt okay if i should open it it will just open the content of um the nano um the file.txt i can just use this keyboard arrows i can say this is one more line added to file dot txt okay then txt so i'll control o to save file dot txt is what i want to save it as so enter then control x for exit and that is that about that so some shortcuts that will really save the day for you while using nano Control O is for write out, which is basically save. Then we have Control X for exit. Control K to cut an entire line. Control U to paste. Then we have Control W to search. We have Control forward slash to replace text. Control G for the help menu. So let me quickly show you how to copy and paste. So let me do nano file.txt once more then let me copy this the one that says this is the last line okay so this one for me to copy uh, to cut rather to cut so that would be control k you can see the last line is no longer there let me come to the last line and control v you can see i've pasted it now that i've pasted it the next thing i want to do is definitely to write out which is to save Control O to save, enter, then Control X for exit, and that is it. How to copy and paste. Now, how do you search text? How do you search text? If you have a particular text and you want to, if you have a text file and you're trying to locate a particular line where a particular text can be found, you can do something like this. Let me use the same nano dot file, nano file dot txt so let me look for the word file for example so control w so control w is what you use to search so now you enter the query string which is like okay now that i've entered like enter you can see it showed me exactly where like is and it took the control there so that is how you can search for a particular um, text in a file using nano so let me show you some few advanced nano features 
So for the advanced nano features, let me control X. Now you might want to open the your your file, your text file at a particular line. For example, you might have a thousand 3,000 lines in the file you want to open and you want to go directly to the maybe 1,000th line it won't be nice if you are using this um, arrow sorry this arrow key down it will not make sense if that is what you are using to navigate it so why not just use um, nano plus oh sorry nano plus maybe if you want to go to the 500th line 500 then the file name okay then the file name so in my own case let me just go to the third line on file.txt so i'll just say plus three file dot um tab dot three file dot txt so enter you can see it took control directly to line three you can see don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel it took the control directly there so that is to tell you that that is working properly now for one reason or the other you might want to open a configuration file or any file at all that is very delicate to the operation of the linux environment or something like that so you might want to open it in view mode only you don't want to edit you just want to open it and maybe check one or two information and you garbage out so you can open a nano a file in um in view mode okay how can you do that let me control x so for me to open file.txt in view mode nano pass the v flag then the file name which is file.txt okay if i try to enter anything you can see key is invalid in view mode i will not be able to enter anything this is view mode basically so i can't do anything so control x is the only thing i can do basically and now I'm off. So apart from that, another thing you should know is that because um, if I list out the files I have in this directory, I have file.txt and new file.txt. So the reason I can enter nano file.txt is because file.txt is in my current working directory. Okay. So you can, from this working directory, you can edit a file in another directory as well. All you have to do is to pass in the full path. Of the file and you are good to go just passing the full path of the file and it will locate the file and edit it if the file is not in existence it will create the file automatically so but just know be careful how you use that though just be careful how you use it, how you use it. lastly i want to show you how to enable line numbers when editing your text file using nano how to enable line numbers so these line numbers if you have for example 200 lines of code it will be easier for you to traverse each of the lines if you can note that okay this is line one this is line two this is line hundred like that like that so i can just say nano i'll pass the l flag okay then let me use new file new file.txt you can see now i have line one line two line three up to line eight so i can easy, easily use the line to trace what is happening on in different sections of the um, of the text file or the code or the script whatever it is so you can use this one to access your phone storage um, do whatever you want to do basically now one pro tip that i would be giving you is that for one reason or the other you might want to edit a file and the file is crucial okay it's important i would advise that you back up the file before you edit it if you check the essential linux commands tutorial you will see it there where i showed how to do file editing and file management in that particular tutorial on uh, tamox so you can just check it out so let me exit now if you want to back up um, let's say file.txt i can just do something like cp cp is the command so cp file.txt then um, you can pass in the name of the target file file backup file backup dot txt okay then ls if you do cut file dot txt no cut file dot 
txt you can see now cat file then backup dot txt you see both of them they are the same thing so now if I want to edit file.txt, I can go ahead to do whatever I want to do with file.txt. Knowing fully well that if anything goes south, I can always fall back to file-backup.txt. Uh, so that will be all for this tutorial, basically. Linux, um, Nano, like I said, is not difficult to use. So we've, I've shown you how to install Nano, how to confirm the installation, um, some basic editing, how to create a new file, edit an existing file, how to save the file, how to cut, paste and search for text. I've shown you how to add line numbers, how to uh, open your file in read uh, mode, in view only mode. So that is that is all for this tutorial for now. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And your the comments is available for all your questions. Okay, the comment is available for the comment section is available for all your questions. So just um, hope in there and um, put in all your queries. It will be answered in due time. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.